here on the crop inputs and costs, we're going to start looking at our costs of production. Now these are the, the primary costs that change with the number of units that you're producing. The more clamshell sizes you produce, the more clamshells you need to grow. The more trays you need to grow, the more soil, the more seeds you need. So these costs change very significantly with uh, your level of production. So let's start out by looking at uh, our soil costs here. So I break this down quite a bit. Let's say we take, uh, we get a delivery of 25 yards of soil, and these are all very realistic numbers for, for here. Our price per yard is $68, uh, and our delivery is $392. So basically it's gonna cost us almost $2,100 for this delivery. So basically it's $83 per cubic yard. So even though we're paying $68 per yard, once we work in our delivery, it, it goes up to 83. So we're paying about $15 a yard for uh, delivery or, or almost 25% of the cost there. So the other thing I've, I've worked in here is just, uh, you know, I've, I've converted things into centimeters cubed uh, for the total centimeters cubed and centimeters cubed per yard, because that's the unit we're going to measure to use to measure the volume of the trays where we're going to put the soil in. So that's going to help us calculate that. Uh, we know from previous calculations uh, from our crop planner, we're going to produce 8,000 trays of soil. So we, we know we're going to need 71 yards of soil throughout a season. So that's a really good number because if I can get a delivery in 25 yards, I know I'm going to have to do three deliveries of 25 yards to get 75 yards of soil uh, throughout the course of a year. So what I've done here is I've put in the dimensions of the trays that we use in centimeters, and I measure this pretty precisely. So this is the volume of, of a tray. And then I have a multiplier here. Now this multiplier is because when we get in our soil, it's fairly loose. And when we put it into the tray, we're compacting it pretty significantly. And so once we do that, I use this multiplier to calculate um, uh, what the actual volume of the tray is, or our new volume here. So it ends up being 6,800 centimeters cubed. Now, if we didn't tr fill the tray all the way up, then we could change that as well. Well, we have a tray, but we only fill it 90% full. We leave a little bit of a, a lip. Ooh, that should be 90%. Oops. So it makes that volume go down a little bit. So that changes things. So if I was to fill trays 90%, kind of stop doing that. Let's just do 0.9 because that's the same thing. Uh, you can see we're getting more trays per delivery of soil. So, and if I go back to 100%, Instead of getting 3,100 trays per delivery, we get 2,800 trays per delivery. So you can see that makes a difference. This 40% this multiplier might be a little high. 30% might be a little more accurate. Um, so I'm getting a bit more. Uh, and so our tray, our soil cost per tray is $69, or 69 cents. Sorry. So that doesn't matter what we're producing as long as we put it in the same tray uh, and have the same amount of soil. Now this is a general rule for most of your crops. Now, some people may put uh, some crops in shallower trays and some crops in deeper trays. Um, I'm not sure the best way to deal with that because uh, that makes no sense to me, uh, though it might in your case. So you might be able to do some adjustments there. But once again, this is, this is a model. This is meant to give you some idea of what it will cost. And so if, if only a, like 5% of your stuff is in a different tray, then you can just kind of, you, you can kind of wing that and just know like your soil cost will be a little more than you anticipate but you're always going to order a little more than you need anyways, because what you don't use this season can carry over to next season. So that gives us a look at our soil costs and our soil costs per tray. Sanitizer is an interesting one. So here I've just broken it down um, in uh, price per milliliter, and I've used Sanidate and I've used bleach as, as, as examples. I've uh, used fairly realistic costing here. So this gives us a price per milliliter. Now the trick here is different uh, seeds and different seed densities are going to require different levels of, of sanitizer. And so I wasn't able to do that calculation here, but it does take place elsewhere. So we'll take a look at that. Same thing with packaging. Uh, we're looking at uh, for our retail clamshells, you're getting maybe 200 in a package. They cost 83 bucks for the package. So they're going to be 42 cents each. But our bulk roll bags, where we get a roll of bags for a thousand or a thousand bags for $32, they come out to three cents a bag. We have a much more detailed label, so we get a thousand labels for $45. Uh, 
for our clamshells. Uh, so our total price for a clamshell is our is our um, clam plus our label. So it takes us up to 46 cents. But the labels we use for our, our bulk bags, which are going to restaurants and, and private clients, they're very simple labels. So they're much they're much um, they're much less uh, costly. So this gives us a sense of the cost for these things, which we will build into some calculations uh, that are going to follow us here.